What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now today is Friday, which means our friendly neighbourhood trash collector Zer is back. Trials of Osiris is also back. You'll be jumping into the Anomaly this week, which is a reprised map on the moon. Now Zer is over on Io this week. You'll find him over in the giant scar, over in his little cubby cave. With that all being said, let's have a look and see what goodies he's got for us this week. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got the exotic engram. So we know how this one works, guys. So if you're filling out your collection and have any that you're missing, then be sure to pick this up as this will help fill your collection out. If you have a full collection, though, then this will provide a random piece of exotic armor, hopefully with higher stat rolls than anything that you've got currently. So whether you're mid-maxing or filling out your collection, be sure to spend wisely here. In terms of exotic gear, quick skim. We have the Queen Breaker, which is the linear fusion rifle weapon of the week. We have Oath Keeper for the Hunter, Mark 44 Standicides for the Titan, and Ophidian Aspects for the Warlock. Any consumables will be here if you're still working on those. If you're new to Destiny, and Invitations of the Nine can be found at the bottom. The Queen Breaker's Bow, then. So it's a linear fusion rifle from the Forsaken expansion. Now the intrinsic traits here is wire rifle. So it fires a long range precision arc bolt that blinds enemies on hit. Now this was very powerful, especially back in Gambit. The aim assist on this weapon was immensely strong. So if it wasn't sleeper simulant, people were using the Queen Breaker instead. Outside that though, it doesn't see a great deal of use, but it is still a fantastic weapon to have nevertheless. If you don't have it guys, be sure to come pick it up. Oathkeeper for the Hunter then, Arc Affinity which we can change now, 46 stats so extremely low, the armor's perk is where bow charges can be held indefinitely. Now bows have tried to have a little bit of love in Destiny, I don't use them a lot personally but if you are a fan of bows then you'll be a fan of the Oathkeeper. Uh, the Leviathan's Breath, this is very useful, it's, that is a heavy bow and can do immense damage to champions, especially when it comes to staggering them. So if you don't have this in your collection, guys, be sure to pick it up if you're a fan of, of bows. Mark 44 stand asides for the Titans. So we've got the Void Affinity at 50 stat. Seriously, watch out, is the armor's perk. No, seriously, it is. Uh, so it grants an overshield when you're sprinting at full health with seismic strike, hammer strike, or shield bash equipped. Hits with these abilities recharge your portion of your melee energy. Now, I don't use these a great deal, surprise, surprise, but I do use things like the Peregrine Greaves as an alternative, as that does immense damage as well when you pair that with things like shotguns. But if you use this, guys, I mean, getting your melee energy back is never a bad thing, especially when it comes to using your charge melee on a Titan. If you like yeeting around and like shoulder charging a lot, and this will be an exotic for you. Um, it's from the Curse of Osiris expansion, so it's one of the original exotics from the game. If you're a collector and don't have it, be sure to come pick it up if you need it. And then finally, the Ophidian Aspects, Arc Affinity, 48 stat this week, Cobra, Totemic, weapons ready and reload very quickly, melee range is extended. I mean, Warlocks had their melee range extended on some of their subclasses by a meter anyway, so this exotic Paired with that is very powerfully strong. For something like Trials of Osiris, having faster ready speeds and reloads is never a bad thing. This used to be one of the go-to exotics for Warlocks in the Crucible. However, that has now been taken over by things like Transverse Steps and things like that. I still think this is a great exotic. It pairs really well with the weapons that don't reload quickly. Some of the heavy sniper rifles or rocket launchers and things like that. And it's very ornate in the way that it looks as well. I don't even have the ornament. But nevertheless, it's worth having, guys, if you're a Warlock, so be sure to come pick it up. There we have it, guys. That's going to wrap up Zer for this week. As I said, Trials is over on Anomaly this week, so be sure to give that a try. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I'll catch you all again very soon.